Hello everyone, let's talk about toxic friends, why you should get rid of them and how to get rid of them. So first things first, what is a toxic friend? A toxic friend is a friend of yours that appears to be holding you back from everything you want to achieve and they also tend to look on the negative side of things so say you've accomplished something I know let's say for example you got a promotion at your job instead of them congratulating you on the promotion which they may do but what they probably will do is look at the negative side of it so you've got a promotion what does that mean it means you've got this long list of responsibilities that you need to take care of which is like looking on the negative side of it because instead of looking on the positive side of it mean like you've got a promotion congratulations that means you will be paid more it means you will be able to do this and do this they just look like Oh, you've got a promotion. Do you know how many more responsibilities you will need to take while at your job? It's going to be a nightmare, you're going to become overwhelmed, you're not going to do what you uh, want to do, and then, let's face it, you're probably going to end up getting fired or something because you can't work the position that you now have through gaining that promotion. And they, they tend to do stuff like that and like always put you down and they tend to always be better than you. Like, let's say you you did something, I know, let's say you went on holiday abroad somewhere and you really enjoyed it, they, it just so happens that that toxic friend has also been on holiday to that place and they've been on holiday to the place beside that place and they've been to another place that you've never been to and they've, they've basically gone all over the world, no matter where you've gone, they've gone but they've also gone somewhere else that you haven't. And let's say you have got something new, a new item of clothing, a new phone, new DVD, book, Blu-ray, whatever. If you've got a new thing, guess what? That toxic friend also has that thing. Now in reality, do they? I don't know. They may do, they may not. But they will usually say that they do have it because, again, they want to be better than you. So it's like, wherever you've been, they've been. Whatever you've got, they've got. Or something like that. Now, in my experience, whenever I've been around a toxic friend of mine, I've always felt like something isn't right. It's like the friendship is just not comfortable and it just feels like awkward and sort of eerily uncanny, so to say. Uh, but that's just my experience and your experience may be completely different. But one thing that most people do experience when they're with a toxic friend is they can like subconsciously realize that this friendship is just not working out and like you need to move on and find new friends at least that's in my experience now in my past I have had toxic friends and admittedly when I had these toxic friends I was probably also a toxic friend but uh, those people have been out of my life now for like five years or something. I've completely turned my life around and I don't know where they are in life. And if I'm honest, I don't really care because why should I be friends with people like that? Uh, now I'm going to go on to explain to you what those people said and like did and how they acted and stuff like that. So how was this toxic friend towards me and towards other people? Well at the time I thought they were a good friend but that was because I was similar to them, I was a toxic friend and stuff like that but then I recognized that like they were holding me back, that they were holding me back from allowing me to achieve my full potential and they basically told me that I couldn't achieve what I wanted to achieve because it would be too difficult, too hard, you're not going to do that, only millionaires do that. I mean like even the millionaires started off with nothing, unless he inherited it, in which case he didn't. But, uh, but yes, this toxic friend basically said, I couldn't achieve what I wanted to achieve, it was a silly, stupid thing that I wanted to do which it actually wasn't, it was like starting my own business, which is not a silly stupid thing. Uh, but they said it will be too hard, you can't do it, it's a silly stupid thing, you don't have the mental strength, and stuff like that. But I like technology, I've been around technology since I was like four years old, uh, so I tend to look up to people who are successful in the technology world, and just successful in the business world, because I also like business. 
as you may have just figured out because I said starting my own business. Uh, but I used to look up to people, well used to, I still do look up to people like uh, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Warren Buffett and Jeff Benzos and like highly successful business people like that whether it's like business related like Jeff Benzos through Amazon or whether it's technology related like Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak through Apple and Bill Gates through Microsoft and successful people that have achieved a lot and have changed the face of the planet as we know it today. Then when it came to looking at the level of success of those people that I look up to, the toxic friend was like, oh, I will never be that person. I couldn't do it. I don't know how they did it. I don't really want to know how they do it because I can't do it. Uh, oh, I can't be bothered. It's too much effort. I can't be asked," And just come up with a hell of a lot of stupid excuses. Um, basically, they were just too lazy to actually do something decent in life because I don't, like I said, I don't know where they are now, but as far as I'm aware, one of them found the path down to drink and drugs, so God knows where they are. And I'm here doing this video to you about how to get rid of people that will probably end up following a similar path to them. Now I'm going to go and explain on how to, if you do have toxic friends, how to get rid of them. Now there are two ways you can do this. I personally prefer the second way, but the first way you can do it is just confront the person and basically be like, this friendship isn't working, so I just want to end the friendship. But um, unless you don't have the confidence to do that, which, uh, which I actually don't, I would rather just let the friendship end naturally. Let's say you talk to that toxic friend five times a week. Uh, you should lower that down to talking to them four times a week and then three times a week, two times a week, uh, once a week and then like maybe two, three times every two weeks and just let it naturally just fade out. Because if you cut all communications with that person and then you basically disappear as far as they're concerned, they will probably try and get hold of you and be like, where have you gone? What happened? What did you do? Uh, did you cut me out of your life? Uh, stuff like that. So my preferred version of getting rid of them is to just let it fade, let the friendship fade naturally over the course of probably a few months. I'd probably aim for around about one month, but uh, you can take as long as you like as long as it's not too long, as long as you are like cutting down the amount of times you are speaking to them or the amount of times you are hanging around with them. Basically just limiting your exposure you have towards them and slowly bringing that down until it's at a point where the friendship is pretty much just naturally dissolved. And then once it has dissolved, consider the friendship over don't look back, look forwards, excel in where you want to go, release your potential, chase your dream, and then hopefully, if everything goes well, you will succeed. Thanks for watching.